The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Philippians. But what does it matter? Only that in both ways, whether with false motives or true, Christ is proclaimed. And for that, I am happy. And I shall go on being happy, too, because I know that this is what will save me, with your prayers and with the support of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, all in accordance with my most confident hope and trust that I shall never have to admit defeat, but with complete fearlessness I shall go on, so that now, as always, Christ will be glorified in my body, whether by my life or my death. Life to me, of course, is Christ, but then death would be a positive gain. On the other hand, again, if to be alive in the body gives me an opportunity for fruitful work, I do not know which I should choose. I am caught in this dilemma. I want to be gone and be with Christ, and this is by far the stronger desire. And yet for your sake, to stay alive in this body is a more urgent need. This much I know for certain, that I shall stay and stand by you all to encourage your advance and your joy in the faith, so that my return to be among you may increase to overflowing your pride in Jesus Christ on my account. And our response from Psalm 42. I thirst for God, the living God. When shall I go to see the face of God? I have no food but tears day and night, as all day long I am taunted. Where is your God? Why be so downcast? Why all those sighs? Hope in God. I will praise him still, my Savior. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Now it happened that on a Sabbath day, Jesus had gone to share a meal in the house of one of the leading Pharisees, and they watched him closely. He then told the guests a parable because he had noticed how they picked the places of honor. He said this, when someone invites you to a wedding feast, do not take your seat in the place of honor. A more distinguished person than you may have been invited. And the person who invited you both may come and say, give up your place to this man. And then, to your embarrassment, you will have to go and take the lowest place. No, when you are a guest, make your way to the lowest place and sit there so that when your host comes he may say my friend move up higher then everyone with you at the table will see you honored for everyone who raises himself up will be humbled and the one who humbles himself will be raised up the gospel of the lord